Hi guys, today I'm gonna talk about some of the best CS2 settings you can have in CS2 if you want to play competitively. I myself use a lot of time to try and find the best settings for CS2, especially because I don't have the best PC in the world, so I use a lot of time to get the best experience in CS2 and also have the most amount of FPS while I still have a lot of visibility. You can find all of these settings on the link in the description on gg where you can download my Outtrack sig, my video files and also copy paste my crosshair, launcher options and everything. First of all, I'm gonna go over my settings in CS2, then I'm gonna go over my launch options and then I'm gonna show you my Outtrack sig. So for my CS2 settings, I just use 110 brightness. I feel that's the best right now because if I put it up to max, I feel like it's way, way, way too bright. So about 110, I feel it's really, really good. Then for aspect ratio, I use 4 by 3, and that's what most pros use. And then I just use 1280 by 960. That gives me a good amount of pixels and visibility, but also gives me a good amount of FPS. And then always full screen, and then your highest hertz. For advanced video, I almost use everything on low. I use disable, disable, mostly for FPS, and also I don't like how the boosted player contract works. I feel like when people get too far away, they're just like in a blur if you have this on. Then for multi-sampling, I use 4x. If you want the most FPS, you can use none, but I feel like when I use none, a lot of the textures like far, far away when I'm walking around are like flimmering or something, and I just think that's really annoying, so I have it on 4x. Then global shadow quality, I have it on low, mostly because of FPS, but if your computer can handle it, then put it on medium or high. Then model the textures, low, text filter mode, build now, also just for FPS, and then low shadow details, low particles and then disabled. Then down here you can have this on performance but I really don't like the way it looks so I have this on quality and then disable highest quality and then NVIDIA reflex low latency on enable plus boost. These are some of the best settings that I found that give you a lot of FPS and then some small tricks like this and this that also give you a lot of visibility. For the audio I use crisp audio and I feel like if you use crisp, I recommend having this on 50 plus, so over 50%. But if you use natural, I would recommend having under 50%. That's what I've seen has most common used by pro players. But this is just pure preference between crisp and natural. For game, I have this. Uh, there's not really so many important settings in here. Just that you put this all the way down. This is mixed so you don't connect to any server far far away, so only connect to the closer servers. Then this is just my settings towards the games tab. You can just pause the video. And this is my radar and my crosshair is just a dot with some things around the side. It looks something like this. For keyboard and mouse I also have the most normal things. The only thing I use use on F. And then a very very important thing is that you have your nades bind, so your Molotov, smoke, flash and nade needs to have a bind so you can quickly pull them out. And for my auto exec and for my launch options, these are my launch options right here. And I have a lot of different things in here. Most of them are just things just to make sure that everything is what it needs to be. For example, I have thread at 6, so no, I have 6 threads, and the same with my refresh rate, it's uh, 240. And then also just have a lot of different things to help optimize the FPS. For Mautic sec, I have this. This is some things that don't really work yet in CS2, but works in CSGO. So when it comes to CS2, it will go in. This is for the net graph thing, so when you hold tab, you can see FPS. Then I have these settings. This is for to make sure that I can see my crosshair at all time because in CS2 you have this crosshair alpha where you can put down so that your crosshair will be transparent and just to make sure that it isn't. Then CL join advertise 2 so people can join my lobby and all this is to make a jump throw where I bind jump throw to V and walk jump throw to H. Then I have this in interp so these different values where it was really popular in the beginning of CS2 were some values that makes the game a lot more smoother. Then R draw traces zero. It doesn't work yet in CS2, but it makes so that bullet tracers aren't there anymore. 
Then the pink thing that I also showed earlier in the game settings where you only can join servers where you'll have 25 or better ping. Then I have so a bound mouse wheel and also space to jump so you can jump on both. And lastly I have so I bind in to so when I'm on a prex server and press in it would remove the smoke and also stop the sound. And these are all my different settings and as said you can find all of them in the description on the link and download them or you can just cover them over to your settings. Hope you find the settings useful and then see you in the next video. Bye.